cameras captured an amazing moment when a kidnapped baby orangutan was reunited with her mother. Orangutans are amazing creatures and it has been proven that they feel emotions much like humans. So, when one female orangutan called Clara had her baby kidnapped from her, she was devastated. The story happened back in 2018 and was about the proud orangutan mom, Clara, and her adorable baby, who was called Clarita. Mother and daughter were living a semi-independent life on a protected island after Clara had been saved from poachers by the Borneo Orangutan Survival Foundation. By living on the island, Clara was able to safely give birth to her baby and the two were able to live in peace without the fear of poachers getting to them. For a while, both Mama Orangutan and her baby lived happily in their new home in the forest. But then one day, one of the sanctuary staff members noticed something which shocked and worried them greatly. It had started as a normal day for the keeper. They had gotten up and began their daily rounds of checking in on the orangutans on the island to make sure that they were all okay. As the keeper sought out Clara and her baby, they were happy to come upon the proud mama. But as they watched the animal, the keeper noticed something which scared them to their core. Clara's baby wasn't with her. Immediately, the keeper informed the other sanctuary staff members and a search began to find the missing baby. Eventually, one of the keepers discovered what had happened and they were shocked when they were all told the truth. It turned out that Clarita had been kidnapped, but not by poachers. The baby orangutan had been taken by a 14-year-old dominant male orangutan called Rizki. Usually, the male apes would have very little to do with babies, but sometimes they'd get quite curious about the little ones and would want to see what all the fuss was about, which is exactly what happened with Rizki. After discovering the crime and checking that Clarita was still alive, the sanctuary staff went about the difficult task of retrieving the baby from Rizki. It was a dangerous situation, as the male orangutan was very strong and they didn't want to upset him in any way that would lead him to harming the young orangutan in his care. Eventually, the staff managed to corner the young male ape and get the young baby from him without hurting either one of the animals. Once Clarita was safely in the care of the sanctuary team, they decided to give her a health check. They couldn't be certain how long the baby orangutan had been separated from her mother and they wanted to make sure that she was still healthy. Unfortunately, the vets who were in charge of Clarita's checkup did find a worrying issue. It seemed that the young animal was suffering from malnutrition. This was likely because Clarita was still quite young and she was still drinking milk from her mother. This meant that whilst she had been separated from Clara, the small ape had not been getting any food as the male, Rizki, would not have been able to feed her. With her health in the balance, Clarita was taken to the on-site clinic for intensive care. The staff knew that they would have to get the baby orangutan's weight back up to an acceptable level before trying to reintroduce her to her mother if she was to have any chance of surviving. They decided to do this with a special milk formula which would help the young ape put on the weight that she had lost quite quickly. They made the decision to bottle feed her for a week and then assess whether she would need to be kept on the special milk or if she would be ready to go back to her mama. With Clarita found and in the process of being brought back to full health, the staff at the sanctuary decided that it would be good to give Clara a health check as well. This was to make sure that the mother orangutan was doing just as good as her baby and would be strong enough to raise the young ape. Whilst vets didn't find anything too concerning with Clara's checkup, they did discover that the mama was suffering from a painful rash. But it wasn't anything too bad and the team was able to get it healed up easily. The mother and daughter orangutans ended up spending a week apart from one another before they were deemed healthy enough to be reunited, which had the staff at the sanctuary very worried. This was because there was a chance that Clara wouldn't recognize her baby after being away from her for so long. If this happened, she could reject Clarita, making her an orphan that the staff would need to raise themselves. When the mothers reject the babies, sometimes they just let them starve. They don't want to give them milk. Boss veterinarian Vivi said in a video, whilst humans can raise baby apes, it would be better for Clarita to be raised by her mother as the small ape would be able to learn all of the useful techniques that she would need to survive in the wild. Finally, after a week of separation, the day came for mother and her baby to be reunited.
Not wanting to rush things, a sanctuary worker brought Clarita over to Clara, who had been placed in a temporary cage in order to make sure that the mother didn't hurt herself or her baby. Wanting to reassure the mother ape that they were there to help, the staff member began to speak softly, telling the adult orangutan that she had her baby and she was going to give it back to her. At first, Clara didn't move and simply watched the keeper in confusion. The keeper was calm though and gently held up Clarita's small hand to the cage, encouraging Clara to touch her. Then, after a few moments, the mother gently reached out and touched her baby. It seemed like she couldn't believe that Clarita was really there. Once she had figured out that it was her baby Clarita who was being given back to her, the mother orangutan seemed to get impatient and began to try and guide the baby through the holes in the cage. Once the keepers were sure that Clara wouldn't harm the young ape, they opened up the cage and handed the baby over to her mother. Clara happily accepted Clarita into her arms and held her gently. As Clarita began to make a bit of a fuss, her mama gently hugged her close and the young ape quietened down again. All of the staff members at Boss had gathered to watch the reunion, and there wasn't a dry eye in the house once the mother and her baby were together again. Despite things seemingly going well, the vets of the sanctuary were still worried though. There was still time for Clara to reject her baby and not feed her, leaving the small ape to go hungry but it turned out they had no reason to worry. A few minutes after their reunion, Clara held Clarita close to her and allowed her baby to start suckling milk from her. The staff members were overjoyed at the sight and relieved as they couldn't have hoped for the reunion to go any better than it had. I cannot say it with words. It was so beautiful, Vivi said. Clara was like, oh, it's my baby. And Clarita was like, oh, it's my mother. Finally, I can see her again after such a long time. It was one of the best moments I experienced while I was working there, to see mother and daughter reunited. Not long after the adorable mother and daughter pair were brought back together, they were released back into the sanctuary's jungle to continue living their lives happily. Although this time, the staff member kept a close eye on the two to make sure that no one else tried to interfere with them or kidnap Clarita again. Usually, baby orangutans will stay with their mothers for around seven to eight years as they learn all of the skills that they'll need in order to survive in the wild. So little Clarita still has quite a few years to go. Thankfully, she has an amazing mama who will teach her everything she needs to know. What an adorable story. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing stories.